and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schroep, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Meditating there. Three simple exercises to stop winging shoulder blades. This is quite um, very dear to me because, mm. Brad, when I was in my 20s, I lost my serratus anterior. Did you ever find it? No, I never found it. No, it actually, what happened is the, the nerve to it, the long thoracic nerve, got inflamed and it died. So I, I lost the muscle. It, it atrophied and it's gone. So you had a winging scapula uh, for uh, a very good reason. Right. I had a very winging scapula, but now some of the other muscles seem like they've come in and helped out and, yep. and helped. But anyway, so it's a big problem with me, and this is what I've been doing to try to compensate for it. Sure. It's improved. Not completely gone yet, but uh, we'll talk about that. Well on the way. If you're new to our channel, please take a mm -hmm. second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, this is a great time to go to our Bob and Brad channel uh, website because we're giving away a mattress, the Sleepovation mattress mm -hmm. here, a fantastic mattress for pain control. Plus, we're giving away a pillow. They've invented a pillow now, Brad. This is the cutaway of it. It's actually got springs in the center of it, along with foam, these foam, individual foam pieces that, that uh, form the top and the bottom of it. Same concept as their bed. Yep, same concept as their bed. And look at this thing. It is wonderful. It's just, uh, it's it's genius. Yeah, you would never know there are springs in there. You never feel them. Yeah, right. which really amazed me. I, I don't know how they did that, but yep. it works. So, Anyways. yeah, you can go to Facebook oh, also, yeah. Bob and Brad. It'll be Tim pinned to the top of the page, the, the contest. Uh, if you want a shorter version of us, go to Twitter and Instagram. There you go, Bob. So again, we're talking about the serratus anterior. And what I do have here is a shoulder blade. Uh, it's just a model. And it's got some of the muscles on it. But uh, Brad's going to be the model here. And here's the shoulder blade on the right side. With a winging shoulder blade, it, you know, it, a winging scapula, basically, it's sticking out like this. It's like you got angel wings or something on the back. Well, you thank you, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so the muscle, the serratus anterior, what it does, it takes the shoulder blade and holds it up against the rib cage, and it also turns it up like this. Yep, it plays that role also because it attaches into the ribs and it has that action. So what we're first going to have try to teach you to do is to visualize and feel this shoulder blade being held close to your ribs while you're lifting your arm. So we got one exercise, we're gonna start with that, and then we're gonna show you other exercises to help engage that while you're in the activity of lifting and stuff like that. All right, so this has a lot to do with your arm movement as well as strength. It's a stabilizer of the shoulder. shoulder oh, it movement. is, yeah. If you're having shoulder problems, in fact, this is one you wanna really look at first, mm -hmm. is that you wanna make sure your shoulder blades are strong and, and have a good base Otherwise, it's going to throw everything off at the shoulder. It is kind of a difficult one to exercise because it's so, you know, it's concealed under there and it, it, it's moving a shoulder blade, which you really can't, you can't see it. No. It's not like your arms or your legs. It's, it's very hard, actually, to, to, to do this one. And, and that's why we're going to give you this exercise as one to try. So I'm working on the right side. I'm going to get a couple pillows here. It just puts me in a good position here. So I'm working on this shoulder blade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, take the hitchhiker thumb and I'm going to point it behind me. And Brad's going to show you why this makes a difference here. So I'm like this. And Brad, you're going to show how yep. this kind of. Yeah, so he's got his hand in the normal position, yeah, palm down. Forward. Now, look at this. I normally would have Bob take his shirt off so you could see it, but yeah. you know the women just go crazy. So we want to <laughs> keep things at bay that way and keep it, uh, you know, medical. And professional. So do that. Yeah. So there. Now here's. There we go. So actually, it winged out more before. I don't know what you did. Dip. There. Uh, there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. A little more. What did you do before? Put a bird. There. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah. Now it's winging. You, I can. Oh. I can literally put my finger underneath the shoulder blade, between the shoulder blade and the ribs. Now go ahead, and see how push my finger right out, and yep. you can feel the muscles tighten up back here, and it pulling that shoulder blade where we want it. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the thumb, hitchhiker thumb back, kind of pull my shoulders together a little bit. And now I'm thinking about trying to push that mm -hmm. shoulder blade right in right. into my rib cage. It's, you know, I can't tell if it's doing it or not, but I'm trying. 
So, and then I bring the arm up at the same time. Yep. And you want to do 10 repetitions of this and, and get that mm. feeling of what it feels like to put that shoulder blade against the rib cage. Because you're going to need to do this later with all exercises that you do. So my hand is here. You can see how my hand is moving. I'm doing nothing more than showing the movement of his scapular or shoulder blade. And he's maintaining that blade up against the rib cage with right. that motion. So once you, you go ahead and do that on both sides, now you kind of have a sense of what it feels like to do that. Yeah. And now you can go ahead and do it with different exercises. So I'm going to do it within a chair doing kind of dips. Sure. And this is something I, I use a dip bar at home. And, and yeah. I, I make sure that I, the first thing I do is I get in place like that. And then I, I engage the shoulder blades. So he's squeezing so, back. Squeezing back, but pushing them down. As best as I can. And then I keep it that way. I'm thinking about that the entire time I'm doing the dip. Right. Now, you can do it in a chair like this, which is nice because you can use your legs to help out here. But you can squeeze your, your shoulder blade and push it down into the rib cage and work on this. And that will help strengthen that yep. while you're doing it. Okay. Another one you can do is push-ups. So, and you can do knee push-ups if you want to start off with, mm -hmm. or you can go ahead. And this is the one where I discovered I was really winging because <laughs> I thought I looked so nice and straight and I look terrible and I'm still don't look great, but I'm improved. Right. Much. So yeah, we did a video on this a few months back and there was a number of comments. They weren't, people weren't satisfied with it. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, again, Engage my serratus anterior, push the uh, wing, yeah, uh, stop the winging. And while that's in place, now I'm going to go ahead and do a push up. Am I straighter, Brad? Yeah, you're, you're, your right's a little higher than your left, but yeah, I can tell you're squeezing it down. Are you breathing, Bob? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> he is very, very focused on that perfect it's, form. It's, it really is hard. Yep. But I found out after a while that the push-ups actually were easier mm -hmm. when you engage the sure. shoulder blade. Yep. So, and if that's too hard for you to do push-ups, I mean, you could do uh, push-offs uh, off a counter or you know anything right. off a wall, Doing and really like work on engaging that shoulder blade. So you're kind of thinking about you're pulling them in. Do you think about bringing them down to that? Yeah, help? that's not a bad thing to think too. Yeah, I mean. This uh, is one of those things you just have to think about where they're going. And sometimes, uh, like we tell people, think about putting your shoulder blades into your back pockets. That right. will help engage certain muscles. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. What I, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a hard thing for people to do or not. It was a little bit hard for me. Yeah. I'm guessing it is going to be hard. Yep. So it's just something you have to work on. Pull-ups is another one where it's really important. I'm going to go hands out like this. So... I, I, I try to gauge him right away. Yep. Now you can see he's flattened right in here. Very nice. And I'm going to go ahead and do, and try to hold that the whole time. And I don't know how well I'm doing with it, but I'm trying to. No, it, it looks good, Bob. Your shirt pulled across there nice. It was. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many of these repetitions will you do of all of these? Like well, 10 it depends. Like, yeah, on, on dips, I do 10. Yep. On push-ups, I do 20. Okay. And on pull-ups, I, I do 10, 8, 8, 8. Yep. I do repetitions. You okay. Know, I start to fatigue. But, I mean, it's going to be what people can, are able to perform. I mean, right. even when you do curls. Sure. You want to you wanna make sure that those are engaged. Right. I mean, it's important for your posture. It's important for your performance. Sure. And it helps with both. Yeah. It just, we got time. I was just going to say, uh, my friend of mine I swim with, he was talking about this. He was uh, looking at some swimming videos, and they talked about uh, engaging that muscle to get your shoulder blade to get to be part of the swimming stroke. Oh, gotcha. So I, I really focused on it, and I timed my hunter like I always do. And I actually gained about three or four seconds. And I don't, I can't say it was just from that, but I think it was because I again, push-ups have become so much. I mean, I, it was to the point where I, I think my they were winging so bad yeah. it wasn't providing any support. Yeah, and it was getting push-ups were harder and they'd kind of hurt and you know, it's just. <laughs> so yeah, I you know I think it's it's just something you, you start off with the exercise on the bed and then work towards engaging it right. with all the other exercises. Th this reminds me of that that movie where. 
every time a bell wings, you get your your wings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, angel gets his wings. Yeah, so a wonderful you could life. Be get, yeah, it's a wonderful life. Right? You could be getting one of your wings. I'm getting rid of my wings, is what I'm doing. Well, so I don't know why, but so I'll become a devil. <laughs> so. Remember, uh, Brad and I aren't just pretty. We're pretty ugly. No, we're pretty helpful. Pretty and helpful handy. and handy. There you so go. So make sure you subscribe to us. <laughs> Thanks for watching.